Hold in, man. Hold in. No, I just got this, this brand new bass. I, I've never had one. Hey, bro, can you come back later? Just, just come back later. I, I, I gotta take care of something. Come, just come back later. Got no hold up, hold up. This ain't even right. Turn the light on. You eating on my work desk, hoodie? Oh, so y'all got back together? What is this? LTD? And you got a candle on it? Yo! Yo, okay, we need to talk. We need to talk right now. Y'all need to do this on your time, but this this candle thing in my shop, that's a no-no. Uh, you over here, all right? You you get over here. Come on, over here, over here. Me and you gonna talk right after this, this video is over. You over here. Me and you gonna talk after this video is over. This is, this, this is, This is crazy. Smells good though, but it's crazy. <coughs> and a nut bar? You got a nut bar? Yup. Yeah. And Gatorade. All right, we, we gonna have to put all this over here. This is ridiculous. I, I, I never seen anything like this in my life. This is, I, I don't know what to say right now. I hope my customers understand, and I hope my, my subscribers understand that you got, you got issues. You got major issues, bro. You got you got major issues. You ain't got a little bit of issues. You got major, major issues. All right, so anyway, let me sit down. Shout out to Apple, Johnny Lawn, Homo Depot. Uh, I really need to apologize for what we just saw. That was crazy. All right, give me one second. Let me raise this up a little bit. And close this door. Cut. Uh. I had to send my customer away because you acting crazy. Come on, man. Unbelievable. All right, so. But, I mean, he's on the right track, though, because I got something coming in today that I'm going to show you all in a few seconds that I I would say, you know, it took me it took me a while to, to come to the conclusion that I really dug these bases because... I think they're on, a little bit on the sexy side. I really do. But just it's just my opinion. I think the bases are really on, on the sexy side. It depends on which one you get. I there's there's two that I really like. I don't ever highly get them in the, in my shop, but this one came in and it had some issues. It had neck issues, um preamp issues. Um it was very, very dirty. Very dirty. Um, all the frets were green. That tells you how dirty it was. Um, the headstock was a whole new different color. It was like gray. But anyway, uh, let me show you what it is. I'm digging this to the highest. Oh, I'm digging this to the highest, y'all. That's right, the big W. Oh, this is, I think this is Babinga. With a with a uh, wingy neck, gold frets. This is a this is a thumb. This is a bolt-on thumb. It's what it is, a bolt-on thumb. Let me tell you something. So the preamp that was in it, it wasn't effective. Look, and it might not work. So it wasn't effective, and it might not work. I just leave it right there. So it didn't work, and it wasn't it wasn't effective. All right, so, but this is, because I got a Tone Monster in here. And the Tone Monster has volume, blend, bass, and treble. For this kind of bass, that's all you need. The thumb bass, that's all you need. All right, so first thing we're going to do is plug it up in my SWR L812 with no hone in it. <laughs> Move out of the way. I'm going to upset with both of y'all right now. 
Y'all ain't here burning candles and incense and LTD and this is just crazy. Who that man? I don't know what's going on with you, bro. You love one week, out of love the next week. All right, so we're gonna turn this on. You stay over there, cause me and you gonna have to talk. All right, so let me check it and see if it's tuned. Got my trusty cord tuner here. Turn it on. I'm gonna turn everything off, which is, you know, just turn the bass off, turn the treble off. That's all you got, cause this bass is full of mids. All right, so we're gonna check and see if it's tuned. Oh yeah. That ain't tuned. I had to put the trust rod plate on. Oh, yeah. 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 It's a little like right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can't get it out <laughs> of I'll try, but they ain't getting out of here. All right, so look. So basically, this is what we got. This is what the bass sounds like with no trouble and no bass. Now, for those who never played a wart, a thumb bass, I mean the real wart thumb basses, uh, it's a little bit, just a little bit of meat in your hand. But you got meat because it does a lot. This bass does a lot. So basically, let's go to the rear pickup. All the way up. All right, so let's go to the front pickup. Which is both on the right beside each other, so basically, okay, I'll say front pickup. Plays like butter. Both pickups again. That's that signature sound right there. Right there. That's that signature sound. Now, let's dial in. Bass at D10. Got a little notch in it. Still clean, still got good bottom. That B is to live for. Fast? This thing is fast. Y'all think I'm fast, but this thing is fast. Trouble at D10. You ain't got no hold in you. To me, it's too loud. <laughs> Look, to me, it's too loud. But anyway, we will take, uh, let's take the bass to just past D10. Let's see what we got. You too loud! But this thing is so clean, y'all. Dwight. 
I'm gonna leave, I ain't gonna call his last name. I just say Dwight. <laughs> crispy crispy that, that I can hear that the, I can hear my 12 distorting war just got that sound man I got one friend that's all he plays is war Sonny I love you man but I'm gonna have to get one of them wards from you now bro So I put everything past, back past D10. I got SITs up here, but that, they're not foundation. These are steels. And um, I just put them on. And I can hear as it, I was playing, it was going out and coming up. But yet and still, she sounds good. close it is. Wow! It's just know she came in with neck issues. Ah! Ah! Woo! Woo! I actually a little bit. First of all, let me apologize for Hootie and his 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 unconsiderableness. That's not a word! Unconsiderableness. Is that a word? Unconsiderableness? Alright, unconsiderableness. Me and you gotta talk. Keep praying for the Hobo Depot, y'all. Keep praying for the Queen and I. We love y'all so much. Every morning, I'm up praying for you guys. Listen, one note can heal the world. I, I know I haven't said that in a couple of videos, but I'm, I'm going to say it in this video. One note can heal the world. Also, I we got sick brothers among us. Pray for them. Um, I'm doing a benefit concert for a, a sick brother here in Richmond. Um, his name is Chuck Miner. Um, if you go to my, my Facebook site, you're going to see the poster up by um, Saturday, which is tomorrow. Uh, the benefit is the 27th of May, which is next Saturday. And it's at Sam Ash Music Store on Broad Street. So it starts at 12 o'clock. So if you guys ain't doing anything, please come out or, or either go to my site and send some money to Chuck. Because he's in really, really bad shape, folks. Um, I can't go deep into it, but he's really sick. So we want to be a blessing to him. I want to be a blessing to him. And so that's why I'm doing this big concert with a lot of bands. Um, so and so if you guys get opportunity to come on down to Richmond, Virginia, 
uh, 12 o'clock at Sam Mansion on Broad Street, and it's going to be slamming, y'all. That whole day going to be slamming. So once again, keep praying for the hootie, and keep praying for the queen and I, once again, and the Hobo Depot, that we remain a watering hole. Shout out to God, God, folks. John Lee Law, Hobo Depot. I'm out. War dumb base. Man, I got to call my boy, see if I can get one.